We mentioned uh, demonstrations around the country tonight. There was a group of demonstrators that got together in Dallas as well this evening. Our Aaron Jones reporting from the headquarters tonight of the Dallas Police Department. Once again, you will see some of the video, and we give fair warning. Some of the images are hard to watch. Those who came out to tonight's rally told us that the video is so disturbing they couldn't watch much of it. Tonight provided an opportunity to talk about where to go from here. No justice! What do we want? Justice. What do we want? Outside Dallas Police Headquarters, calls for justice for Tyree Nichols. It's pretty disgusting uh, to see what they did to that man. You know, he's for a whole 30 minutes, you hear him say, put your hands behind your back, give me your hands, give me your hands. Dallas residents reacting to newly released body cam video that shows a January 7th Memphis traffic stop that eventually leads to five officers beating Nichols relentlessly. The 29 year old father was hospitalized and died three days later. Why is it in 2023 something, something like that is still happening? It's five police officers is it for, this way? for one guy. Law enforcement agencies across the country have been quick to condemn the actions of the five former officers who are all now facing multiple charges, including second degree murder. Along with the rest of the world, I am ashamed and angered by the actions of the officers that day. As law enforcement, we take an oath to protect and serve. The actions that day broke, violated and tarnished that oath. On Twitter, Dallas Police Chief Eddie Garcia saying this to the community. As a department, we will ensure anyone who chooses to peacefully protest, hold vigils, remembrances can do so safely and securely in our city. We respect everyone's constitutional right, but we will not condone lawlessness in our city. Friday's rally remaining peaceful. Organizers say in the future they want to avoid similar incidents from occurring here in North Texas, believing even in our own communities, systemic racism and excessive use of force in police work needs to be addressed. You know, it needs to stop, so we're here to support it. And more demonstrations are expected to take place across the country this weekend, none locally here that we've heard of. In Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Aaron.